Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm just trying to get... that should be good. Okay, uh, Jackie's Crafty Time is my channel name. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm in a super weird mood. It's fine. As you can see, I have finished uh, Diamond Art Club's Kitchen Helpers and I've moved on to my mystery. I have no clue what it is. I'm on the third square across the top. Hopefully I get a clue after this one. Um, I don't know. My husband keeps saying he knows what it is, but I think he's just saying that at this point. I have. Um, it's been a while since I've done a uh, whipping chat, but I am back. Hopefully a little bit more regular scheduled. We shall see. Sorry, I'm just trying to get all my... Okay, come on. There we go. <laughs> trying to get all my cover minders on, everything else, ready to go. Okay, um, I'm actually going to load up. I got a brand new pen in the mail today. This is called Rainbow Mist from uh, Diamond Pens. And I'm going to show you right now. It's not going to capture how like absolutely wonderful this is in person, but it's like, it almost looks like an oil slick kind of, or I like to say it's like, um, tie dye rainbow. I, I love it. I'm in love with it. I have wanted a rainbow diamond painting pen, um, forever. I don't know why I just did. So I'm going to load it right now with some putty and some wax because I've been doing putty on my multi-placer side which is this side and single side is wax and I have new wax and new putty from Amy well not new ones I haven't used yet so mm, I think I'm going to use strawberry lemonade and what wax should I use how about should I use brownie? You know what? No, I'm going to use blueberry pancakes because I love that one. And I really want to use it again. So, I'll give you a quick little demo before I get into picking out my color. I think I'm going to do the P. So all I do is I pinch it like this. See, it makes a little pinch mark in your putty. And then you just pull it out. I twist. And then pull and that's all that's all I'm gonna need I could use that probably for my multi placer side and my um, single placer so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna warm it in your hands like that you're just gonna rub it back and forth excuse my nails I haven't painted them yet it's on my to-do list for this weekend so you're just gonna go like this until it gets like warm kind of Pliable, movable, if you will. Ugh, it smells so good because it's blueberry. Oh, I'm nudging you guys. Sorry about that. Just see my hand go to my little trash bin there. And you're going to have, I use my wax plate to kind of use it as the base for me to cookie cutter it on there. Oh, goodness. Okay. Sorry, I just got like a really sharp pain behind my eye. I usually get migraines really bad um, once a month. If you women out there can figure out the once a month quote, probably guys too, TMI, I know, I won't bring it up, but yeah, for some reason I get those now and they're just terrible. They like put me down, down and out. Okay, I'm going to show you, as you can see, when I'm twisting this, like that, the multi-placer, I don't know if you guys can see it, is moving. So to fix that, so if you get a pen and you put a multi-placer on the one side, um, to fix that, all you do is you take a little piece of washi tape. That was probably really loud for you guys. So take your piece of washi tape. I'm going to pull a little bit off. Take your multi-placer out. And then just wrap this around there like so and then you put that end back in and it'll hold your um, your end in really well 
So I just do this. Okay, and then I'm just going to cut off the excess here. My husband's going to be like, did you do any diamond painting? Uh, no. <laughs> I meant to. And then you're just going to stick that back in the end. And it'll hold it in there nicely now. If I can get it to go. Tilt that piece. Sometimes you got to trim it down. That should fit now. All right. And a little bit will be sticking out, but that's okay. So there. Now it's not going to move. And I don't, that won't bother me that little bit. I could slice it off with my knife if I wanted to. Actually, I can just pull it like that. There. It's all gone now. Okay. Okay. What was I doing? You know what I don't have right in front of me? Oh, no. Is my little, my tester. Got to be around here somewhere. I'm gonna have to make another one of those, and I will make another one of those, because I keep losing this one. It's the little thing that I made to push the to push the new putty onto, so it it'll push out any excess. It's not like mandatory that you do that. I just always have, and I like to. So I don't know where it is right this very second. My daughter probably stole it. I wouldn't wouldn't put it past her. Probably. Maybe. Oh, I have to show you my new tray binder. Get ready, because this is gorgeous. Literally took my breath away when I opened this. It's my new favorite tray binder. And if you don't know what a tray binder is, I'll turn the camera and I'll show you guys. But look at this. Look at the rainbow glitter. Like, can you even, uh, I just can't. I love it. It's, I'm so glad I got this one. This is from Amy at Sensible by Design. I'll have her link down below. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. And the canvas, I didn't even finish saying that. I'm working on my mystery painting. <clears throat> um, sorry, I'm just going to take a drink. From Lori over at All That Sparkles. And I'll have her Facebook link down below okay I'm really bummed out I can't find what I'm looking for um, just one minute I'm just gonna go check over over there cuz I just used it that's what's bugging me is I literally just used it last night Ugh. I swear these kids these days probably moved it all right well you know what we'll we'll move on and I'll just I'll, it's not a big deal. Like I said, it's not a necessity. It's just something that I like to use myself. Oh, look, I found it right when I said I was going to move on. And it was it's on the floor under my desk. Awesome. Oops, did I just hit you guys or just my head? Just my head. Okay, this video is a mess. So <laughs> this is what I was talking about. I literally just glued these on here to push wax into. So all I do is I take this. And then I just push my putty or wax into it, like so. And then it makes the little indents and I can get rid of all the excess that's there. Okay, sorry, my camera just made a funny little square thing. I didn't know what that was. Okay, you know what? I think I'm just gonna do blueberry on both sides for now. And then I'm gonna switch it out to brownie wax later on because I like the brownie wax really much. Really much. Yeah, I can talk. I swear. I promise. Um, so like I said, yeah, there's more than enough putty in here to do my single placer even a couple times. So we'll just get it in like that. And then I'm going to push all the sides in. Oh, yeah. And then I'll show you what the tray minder is for anybody that needs to see it and needs to know why I have three of them because I want them. No. I do have a reason for having three of them. And I will show you that. Where did I put the little paper? Oh my god. I'm going to have to glue this thing down to my desk. Okay, so you just push and see how some came out of the side there? No big deal. I'm going to scrape that off and we're good to go. Alright. So. 
and blueberry blueberry pancakes is my favorite putty i love blueberry smell so so good although she did post a bunch of new scents that i'm hoping are like new scents that she's going to make into putties and waxes because one is orange cranberry and that like cranberry is my all-time favorite favorite smell of all okay so i'm going to move you guys we're going to go for a little ride i'll show you my tray minder and then we'll get going I didn't even pick a tray. You know what? I'm going to use my Gryffindor tray. So, okay. So this, well, that's a good angle. Okay, there. This is my tray minder. So you're like, okay, big deal. You got a block there. What you do is, because my desk is angled up, I can't just stick this like this, right? It'll fall. As you can see, tray minder will hold it so I can diamond paint and go like that. So I have this one, I have this one, and I have my new gorgeous, look at it, look, oh my god, it's so pretty. Now I can make this, if I angle up my, my uh, desk anymore, I can have this, so in case I'm clumsy, I know for sure my tray will be super secure. Alright, so that's that. I'm gonna move you guys back and we're gonna get diamond painting here. Wow, you guys went for two rides in this video. Sorry, that's gonna be a little bumpy. Okay, I'm working up top anyway, so you'll see that. And I'm using my Gryffindor tray because this is a fantasy themed um, diamond painting that I have no idea what it is. So let's get going here. I'm gonna do the P because that's the top and I like to try and get the border done before I go on to um, the inside. And I don't think the border is gonna be any different than the other side. So it's just gonna be a lot of dark blues, more dark blues. And I hear somebody walking around. I'm going to assume it's my son. Probably coming in now because we made him work outside. So here we go. All right. Oh, I love the little pops that the putty makes. So I hope everybody had a really good Mother's Day. I know I'm like a week late on that, but it's it's fine, right? I tried. Um, I didn't do too much. I didn't work, which was nice. Uh, we just ordered Chinese food because I'm not cooking on Mother's Day. It's not happening. Mm. My son. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, who's talking up there? Um, he's on his game thing, probably talking to his cousins. That's how they all talk now because, you know, we're still in lockdown. Uh, just had the announcement that we are still going to be in lockdown till June second now so that's not the news that I wanted to hear but it is what it is um, tomorrow I actually go for my my first dose of the vaccine I am super nervous about it just because I have a really big phobia of needles like I'm really bad at getting needles and like there's you can't have anybody in there with you so, fingers crossed I don't pass out, okay? Okay, thanks. I think I said everything. I'm trying to think of if there's anything else. Yeah, because the putties from Amy, tray minder, cover minders from Amy. I don't know if you guys seen the little tray minder, or cover minder. I can't see it that good. It's my Nintendo controller that glows in the dark. Like one of my all-time favorites. Um... I do have some unicorns coming in the mail. I have been like stalking the mailman <laughs> because I know I'm like, oh, it should be here. It should be here. Yesterday, I like waited. I waited all day yesterday and nothing. I didn't even see the mailman come down our road for even my neighbors. And then it was funny today. I got two packages from Amy. I didn't open the other one because I'm saving it for a haul video. Um, two packages from Amy and then this pen. 
and they were like wrapped around in elastic bands. So I was like, oh, I wonder if they're keeping this. Like they knew, <laughs> like they knew this person ordered way more than that, which is frustrating. Don't keep it at the post office. Give me my goodies. Um, yeah, I just, I'm excited to get new things. So also I am going to be attempting to get the Nightmare Before Christmas um, diamond painting from Diamond Art Club. Did you guys like see how gorgeous that is? Nightmare Before Christmas is probably one of my top favorite movies. I watch it all the time. If I'm not feeling good, I watch Nightmare Before Christmas. If I don't know what else to put on on Disney and Disney's on, I'm watching it, Nightmare Before Christmas. That and The Corpse Bride, I think I just really like, I like those movies. They're weird, they're odd, I'm weird. They, you know, like they, they're my type of movies. Why is that not sticking? Sometimes I find the middle one, you have to rub it like that and then it works again. That didn't sound right at all, did it? Sorry. <clears throat> so work's going okay, other than, um, I didn't even look at the camera to see if you guys see what I'm doing. Oh yeah, you can see. Other than my friend is quitting, which is never fun, right? Like, like I'm happy for her. She's obviously, I'm happy for her. She's going to what she went to school for, so good for her, right? She got that job, but then I'm like, oh, but you're leaving me here. Why? <laughs> I know. They can't stay forever, but I would love them to. Okay. If you hear talking in the background, a very excited 12-year-old, it's my child, and he's playing Minecraft, and apparently they're at a super important part, because all I can hear is him yelling on his headset. Oh, excuse me. Okay. What time are we at? Oh my god, we're, I've already chatted for 17 minutes about really just all the things I've got in the mail. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, I have to get a couple videos done. I have actually two on my phone to put up that you will see before this video. Well, you'll see the finish. I got a finish and review video of my Diamond Art Club canvas. And then you'll see the, you'll see this video probably. And then I have a Zox one. My, me and my son Zox finally showed up. So it's exciting. I love, I love doing the Zox with him and it makes him so happy. And you know what? Like, why not? Right? He's 12. I don't need to use the baby check money for diapers for him. So that's what I take some out of it. And I asked him, I said, do you want me to sign up for a monthly mystery pack thing for you? He said, yeah, so why not? Okay. I think I'm going to go right across. And yes, I know my lines aren't perfect, but if you look on this, oh, I can't bend it to show you. Once it like comes all together, you can't tell, which is fine. Um, what else? What else did I do? Oh, I ordered my very first custom diamond painting from diamondart.ca. I've heard very good things about them, so I'm hoping. I know it's going to take a while to get here. She said like three to four weeks, so, which is fine. Um, I can be patient. I mean, not overly patient. I'm still waiting on stuff from AliExpress that I ordered. Um, as a gift to somebody and still not here. I don't know. I'm going to give it a few more days or not a few more, a couple more weeks and then maybe I'll look into it a little bit more. Um, I know, I know shipping anything is kind of backed up right now. Like even I'm in Ontario and Amy's in Ontario. Sometimes my stuff gets here, um, super quick and then other weeks it'll take a bit which is I don't care like I know it's coming it's here and that same with the pens too sometimes they get here super fast sometimes they take a bit to get here so I can be patient sort of not really I actually won a pen a red and 
black and white pen before this one. So I thought that was the pen that came today. And then I opened it and I was like, oh my gosh, it's a rainbow one. I was so excited. And then I was like, oh wait, I hope my my red one's not lost. It's like you're excited and then you're like, oh wait. Okay, I have to take the excess off. So if you've seen that I'm having the one stick, all I did was run my nail along there. So I don't know if it's going to focus on it. it. Might not. Yeah, it's not going to focus because I want it to focus. So I just run my nail along the top of the excess there and it'll pull it off and it should start working better. I've never had a problem really with it. Oh, I hate when that happens. Okay, I'm going to pause you guys for one second. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that guys. I had to go like reel the 12 year old in because he was literally yelling about pumpkin seeds in Minecraft. I have no idea. I don't play that game. I have no idea anything about that game. I don't know. I just told him. I was like, really dude, just give me like 15, 20 more minutes and like you're good. Like just, that's all I need. I haven't, I, my two year old has gone back to, I don't sleep at night anymore. Which doesn't make sense because we took away her nap. So somebody please tell me why. Is it just to drive me insane? Because that's where I think we're at right now in life. I don't know. I just have to make it through this toddler stage. And I think we'll be okay. But the toddler stage might kill me. I'm going to be completely honest. It's, it's rough. It's rough time. It's a rough go. She's a very, very um, routine child. Like, if anything is out of her normal routine, what she likes to do, it, it she'll lose her mind. Like, you cannot calm her down. It has to be, you know, the way she wants it, the way she wants it done. Like, bedtime. And I know bedtime routine is good. So, bedtime, for example... Um, we put her to bed um, so we get her soother. She only gets her soother at nighttime. I know she doesn't have one, but she needs it. So she gets soother, she gets her milk, and then we walk to her room. She has to take the soothers, put them on the side table, and then she will turn around. We have to wait at the door, and then she'll take our hands and she'll like pull us in. And you cannot enter her room until she lets you enter her room or it's like the world has ended like it's so bad um yeah so then we do that and then I have to sit down she'll get her bubba's then she'll look for daddy she has to turn the light off with daddy not me because I've tried to turn the light off with her and it's no go um yeah I don't know it's very very hard <laughs> like like, I'm trying. I'm holding on with all that I got. And it's, I just have to make it through the toddler. That's all I keep saying is I just have to make it through the toddler stage. I need one more clip. Hold on. Hold, please. This might hit you guys. Yeah, it's gonna, I'm gonna have to scoot you guys over till I get this clip on. Because it keeps falling off the bottom. There we go. You guys can stay there. You're fine. I'm not going to be near the bottom anytime soon tonight, I don't think. Um, she does go to bed really good now, though, which is a bonus, which was, you know, it was a hard time last time. Like, I was spending probably uh, two to three hours in her room at night sometimes just getting her to go to sleep. So since we've taken away naps, well, we didn't even take away naps. She just stopped taking naps. She just made that decision all by herself. Um, since we've stopped that, it seems to, she goes to bed really good, but now she's getting up at like two or three in the morning. Um, and then the fun little problem with that is, so last night she got up at two, right? Fine. She gets up at two. Well, what she does, or no, not last night. Last night she went back to bed really good. The night before she got up at 2. My husband gets up at 5 a.m. to go to work. Um, and you would think, oh, that's super early. That's ridiculous. But he doesn't just jump out of bed and go. 
no, he has 45 alarms. I know I'm exaggerating, but there's at least eight alarms for sure that go off. So what my darling daughter likes to do is she'll stay up till about, let's say 4.30. If she gets up at like two sometimes, she'll, she'll fight going back to sleep till about 4.30. Then she'll go out. She'll be sound asleep, sleeping her little eyes away, having her little baby dreams, whatever. And then I'm like, great. I get back to bed. By the time that I'm going to get ready to go to sleep, what happens? Ding, 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 ding. Alarm number one goes off. He rolls over, slams the snooze, goes back to sleep for another 9 to 15, whatever the snooze button is on his phone. I don't know. Then after that, another alarm, and then another alarm, and then he doesn't roll out of bed till like 5.15. And then I'm laying there just staring at the ceiling like, can't you just like go? Like just get up and go. Like go. Like, <laughs> I know. It's, it's what he's always done and I can't, like, I can't change him. I've been with him for 20 years, right? I know this by now. It's just, oh, when you just get back to bed and you just want to go to sleep, it's so frustrating. You try so hard to love that person, but then you have, like, really bad thoughts about that person. But I love him. I love him to pieces. He's, he's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, no, some, I think my daughter has set that up somehow in her evil little genius brain. I haven't figured out how she did it, but she does. I don't know if she has a clock and knows, okay, daddy's gonna get up soon, I can let mommy go try and lay down, and then she won't be able to sleep. I'm pretty sure that's what she's doing. What was I saying before all this? Oh, my custom. How I can be patient. I don't know how that, my custom diamond painting went from that to a tangent about how crazy my daughter is. Oh, probably because my son. My son was yelling about pumpkin seeds on Minecraft. True. Okay, yes. So I ordered my first custom. Super excited to get it. Um, it's a poster of the Beatles, who are my favorite band. I got it in... I got it... What size did I get? 50 by 70. I got a big one. And I'm pretty sure I got it square. If it comes round, that's fine too. I don't have a preference. I picked square just because uh, it has faces and I think that that would show more detail on the faces, but I think I got the size big enough that it'll be fine. Sorry, I thought I was gonna sneeze there. That would have been terrible on camera. I would have had to tell my husband to edit that out. Um, yeah, so I, I'm gonna be patient and wait for that. <laughs> I'm trying to be patient. At least I know it's already, like, it's good. It, it's in motion now. So what happened was, I'll tell you the story um, about the custom, the Diamond Art Club. So I had messaged them and asked about it because I, I wanted to get a custom, but I wasn't sure, you know, I didn't really want to go through AliExpress. Now, I know Diamond Art Club ships out of China, I, or not Diamond Art Club, they do too diamondart.ca um, the lady who runs it is named Rebecca very nice very helpful got everything handled for me so I had messaged hadn't heard anything back on the website chat so I was like that's weird whatever okay fine like you know I'll just move on I'll find it somewhere else um, I originally was going to order my custom through Evermoment on AliExpress um but like I said, I kind of wanted to, you know, support somebody in Canada that has their business here and whatnot. Um, so I had emailed diamondart.ca and said like, hey, I message, I sent a message on the website. Nobody responded. Like, did anybody see it? Still no response. So I think I just let it go. And then I seen a Facebook ad for them. So I went on there and I had messaged them on Facebook and said, uh, hey, like, do you guys like check your messages on the website? What's going on? Like I sent a message a while ago. No big deal. If you guys don't, just let me know. I hate when there's one random one and then I lose it. Can you guys see the random letter P? The letter of the day is P. 
Come on. Okay, there it is. Took me yelling at the canvas. Um, <laughs> you, you all were probably just shouting. It's right there. Anyways. So they finally, she finally messaged me back on uh, Facebook and said, very sorry, we seen your message. Um, I am Rebecca and we were shut down. They were closed. I don't know if it was due to COVID. I don't know if it was due to the lockdown. Anyways, they had shut down for two weeks and there was like bare minimum people there, you know, answering messages or whatever. So I said, that's fine. That's, you know, no rush. I have a stash. Lord knows I have a stash to get through um, that I keep adding to. Not to mention the pre-orders from Diamond Art Club that are going to start coming in soon. Um, so we messaged back and forth. And, you know, I got all the... She gave me all the information. You fill out the form. And you, you put down a $10 deposit that's, you know, non-refundable. And then they email you pictures of the proof. And I was like, sounds great. Let's do it. Well, I filled out the form, but I had sent the picture through Facebook Messenger, not thinking that I should have attached the picture to the form that's going to the designer. Didn't think that at all. So I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. And it's about, she said it would take like three or four days. So I waited about a week and then I, I sent another and I was like, I'm really sorry. Like, I don't want to bug you guys, but I haven't heard anything back. I've checked my spam folders. I've checked everything like there's nothing. And she's like, oh, she's like, well, there was no photo. Like we didn't know. My first thought was like, why didn't you email me and say, hey, there's no photo. But I said, oh, well, you told me to send the photo in the Facebook message. And she goes, oh, yeah, that's I just was saying, like, if you had it so I could see it, tell you if it was a good photo to use. And I said, oh, OK, well, she ended up sending that one off to the designer for me and they got back and it looks so good in the proof so i'm super excited i hope it's super bright i told her that's my one thing i want the colors to be like like fluorescent neon in your face bright um yeah so i'm like i said i'm really excited i can't wait i don't know why my voice just went like this but it did this video is going to be a hot mess. Welcome to it. And I want to thank you guys. Um, I did get another new subscriber and it means a lot to me. Um, I know I just have a small following, not even a following. I have a small subscriber base, but you know what? I've said it many times before in my videos. These videos make me really happy. They're kind of like a video diary, if you will, a vlog. Not really, because I don't do like weekly ones. And then, like I don't do a week's worth of videos, then put them all together like uh, Becky's Madness for Crafting does vlogs. Because I don't even know if I would have time to do it every day. Some days it would just be me running through my house chasing Addison. And then other days it would just be me arguing with my son to do his schoolwork on virtual school. <sighs> yeah, so... <laughs> don't think you guys want to see that but no I do I really enjoy doing them I'm always looking for new content I already have a video idea for the weekend um, if I'm feeling up to it hopefully I don't get the fever and chills from the vaccine and it just goes all smooth and wonderful but I just need to get it done and over with I just want to see my kid play hockey I want to see him out with his friends. That's where we're heading, hopefully. So um, I'm going to end it here, guys, because I think it's about 730. And I'm pretty sure my husband still has my daughter running around in the backyard. And I need to get her in the bath. And in pajamas and like settle down. And then I'm going to come back and work on this. I've actually got quite a bit done. Um, this is my checkerboard. And I checkerboard multi-place my four placer all the time. I would love to use the three placer too, but I can't find a skinny three placer that I, I, I'm going to have to look somewhere because I, I don't know where to, I don't know where to get it. I think I get three placers with my pens. I should check them out. My diamond pens. I always just put them in my little baggie of placers and I never really look at them. Maybe I should do that, right? Okay, guys. Um, 
I'm going to end it here. Like I said, we're at about 35 minutes. I usually try and keep these around a half an hour. I could still keep going. I feel like I have a lot to talk about because I haven't been on in a little bit, but I'm going to split it up into a couple videos just so I can get some videos kind of logged for me to put up. And that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you like all my little goodies I showed you. Um, I will have the review video up probably tonight. And then this one sometime maybe tomorrow. Alright guys, talk to you again soon. Stay safe. Bye!